Hello everyone. Uh, a thousand views for the Malaysian box turtle video, so I figured I'd do a follow-up. That's the best video I've done the most views, so obviously people like that. Um, this is not the Ambos anymore. You'll notice this is actually some of our, are any of them out? Our Knixies. So we moved some of these. We've got some that have grown up and whatnot. And we moved them in here. This is where the Ambos used to be, but it was getting too hot for the Knixies. We, and they, and we, they were getting stressed out. Some of them got sick. Luckily, they're getting better. So we bought a, an 80% sunblocker and put it in this greenhouse, which has made this a lot cooler, especially in the summer when it's 95 degrees outside. It stays cool in here. But the Ambos were too cool, and they, couldn't, they weren't getting enough sunlight. They, they like to bask, right? You want to give them basking spots. And they just couldn't bask enough. So, ta-da, greenhouse number two. This is where we do a lot of plant work, but they gave us some bench space. And this has the same cover the other one had, which is only 20%. So it keeps a little cooler, but it lets a lot of sunlight in. That face kind of cloudy, but you can see there's sunlight coming in and they are enjoying it. Look at that guy right there. He is up basking. And when we put that cover on the other side, they were not basking like that. But he's up, he's out, he's loving it. And I just put him in here maybe 10 minutes ago. We just moved him. Now the females, they haven't gotten out yet, but I imagine they will. Well, that's a close up. But the cool thing about the females, when we were getting them prepped to move, look what we found. Yes, spoiler alert, eggs. We got eggs for three eggs. Where's the third one? Uh, it must be over here. Yeah, so three eggs. They all look good. And I'm going to leave them here. You know, we have incubators, but there's temperature fluctuation in here. So you're going to get some cooler temperatures, some warmer temperatures. And for me, that's just like nature, right? They're out in the field. You're going to have higher temps, lower temps, it's going to fluctuate, whereas a constant temperature in incubators. Our incubators can't do fluctuating temperatures, so I'm just going to leave them in here and see what happens. We did it last year. We got one to hatch out. It wasn't great, but we didn't find them till late. We found them early this time. Make sure they stay wet, and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, in a couple months, we'll have some baby ambos, but they're chilling right now. Uh, these smaller ones, they're not out basking yet. But they don't tend to bask as much. I've realized that. These smaller ambos do not tend to bask as much as the larger ones. Now, some of these will. These Philippine ambos, they'll sit on top. But they really like to be in the land. These little guys, these Philippine ones, if any of y'all have Phil Philippines, I know some of you do, post on the comments, do y'all spend a lot of time on land or they spend more time in the water? So most of these I find in the little land feature there. There's a couple individuals that spend a lot of time in the water, like this guy. He's always in the water. But most of them, they're out there on the land. Whereas the rest of these guys, the other species, or the other localities, are always in the water. All right, we'll see if he's still, yeah, he's still out, just looking at us. So this is a Sulawesi locality, and there's the other one. He's like, ooh, maybe I'll get out. That sun, he feels that sun hitting his head. So they're really excited, I'm excited. If you've got these guys, you got to keep them where they can bask. You got to give them some sunlight. They just they just love it too much. All right. Uh, once again, these are Malaysia box turtles. We put them in the new greenhouse so they get more sunlight because the other one wasn't getting enough. And I'll feed them real quick too. Y'all can watch them eat real quick. All right. So we feed them the Missouri pellets. You can see he's eating. He just ate one before I started filming. And they really seem to like these. We'll do this once or twice a week, and then we'll also throw maybe some tomatoes, some squash. Oh, that was a good bite right there. You try to go for two, but only got one. We'll feed them some squash, tomatoes, zucchini, throw bananas in there, mushrooms. But we have to be careful not to throw too much of that plant, the fresh food, because it gets that water nasty. And this water looks a little turbid because it just filled it up. But you can see that they really like the Missouri pellets. And we fed them tetramen too, and they like those, but we typically just buy all the Missouri. It's just really good, high quality food for them. Oh, nice stretch. All right, let's see if these females, well, let's see, any of these gonna eat? 
See if anybody will come out here, if we can lure anybody out. Oh yeah, look at that. She was waiting. She was sitting there waiting on it. So yeah, they'll pound these Missouri, and we feed them uh, um, night crawlers, feed them mealworms. So we feed them live food as well. I haven't done fish yet, just because I've heard they're really messy, but I'm sure they eat them in the wild. So we mainly do Missouri, fresh vegetables, mushrooms, and then live food as well. But they really love that Missouri. All right, one last pick of that handsome boy over there basking. So once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing our box turtles in their new home, loving the sunshine, and get to see them eat and learn a little bit about our food. So like I said, Missouri, pellet food once or twice a week, and then fresh food once a week. And that's kind of all we do. Fresh or live food, kind of alternate. That's about all we do. All right. I hope you enjoyed another episode of Turtley Wild. And y'all have a great day.